Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Antics Online. It has been a while since we recorded, but I'm looking to get back into Civ. We are right where we left off. It's been a while since we recorded just because I had uh, a lot of stuff that I had already recorded so like I could just put that up uh, while I was busy during the week. Oh shit. Massive misplays on the very first thing we do. Alright, that's just... You know, is it really giving me much hope on how this is going to go, but whatever. Whatever. We're good. So, the Shoshone Empire... The Shoshone... The Shoshone Empire is just going great. We're pretty happy. We're really populous, populous, and we're... You know, it's going good. It is going great, guys. And I have some exciting news. So, basically... Because my computer is so old and kind of laggy, uh, I get like 10 frame rates, which is absolutely terrible. And I know like, especially in the later game, that's when it started to get really, really bad. So I'm gonna be playing another Civ game on my laptop and it has some awesome mods. It has this mod where there's raging barbarians and the barbarian settlements turn into cities. So you can have a barbarian nation, which I think is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a great twist. So we got that going. We've got a bunch of other cool mods like Fortress Borders where you build a fortress and it has like the borders of a city so you can get resources. It's basically like a colonization mod except like you don't actually have to colonize anything. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to start. So it's going to be amazing. Uh, this looks like it's going pretty good. I haven't really checked up on it. It's been a while since I played, about a week. Uh, and I had some really like, I kept on trying to upload, kept on having issues so that was really annoying. But I eventually started put, uh, to being able to put stuff up, which was great. Uh, what did I just refuse? <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. And, yeah, I've just been really busy. I wrote an essay, uh, took three tests this past week. It was a busy week. But I'm looking, back into, looking to get back into YouTube and have some fun. So I'll hopefully be putting up some the videos of the new Civ 5 series pretty soon. I've gotten a screen recorder. I just need a mouse now, which I'm probably going to go get today. I, tr I like I don't have a mouse like which is the weirdest thing I have this mouse mouse for this computer I unplugged it and I'm like oh this thing can't plug into the uh, whatever you call it the laptop that I'm using so it was just yeah I gotta get one my father has one but I don't really want to use it okay so we have so we're gonna have to adopt rationalism so we can get some more science up there uh, it's actually a little bit of a bump anyway and we're just gonna get some fishing boats after we finish this up so we can get lots of crabs and lots of happiness so we can you know keep on growing uh, let's go to, where's the least, where's Beijing? Uh, let's go to Palenque, which is good. There we go. Our economy is booming. Our science is booming. Things are definitely looking up. So we're going to build a cargo ship down here just so we can, you know, definitely, uh, get some more trade down here. But basically, it's going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. I'm going to take some... Take some citrus. I'm gonna get some orange. It's gonna be really fun. This Civ Five game that I'm planning. I've got a bunch of cool mods. It's not gonna be as laggy, and I don't really know what's gonna happen because I've never played it before. So I'm super excited for it. I'm super excited for you guys to see it. Uh, my subscribers have gone up by like ten uh, in the past week, so that's amazing. If this is your very first video that you're watching or you're just coming to my channel, welcome. It's amazing. And some news. Also, it rained in California for like. 30 minutes, it was a slight drizzle, and we're still in heavy, heavy drought, but it rained. Like, people didn't know what to do. Like, we were running around clapping. No, I'm, I'm kidding. We weren't doing that. But seriously, like, we don't know what rain is. It's just not... Yeah. It's pretty funny. So we're going to send this guy down to the city state, because I either need this guy as an ally, al ally, as an ally, or I need to take him over, because, you know, I kind of want to own my own island. I don't want any foreign influences on it. Pretty sure, no... Very isolationist, kind of like a America. Well, actually, America isn't really that isolationist anymore. Not truly. We need oil, stuff like that. So we could build a writers guard, but I don't writers guild, but I don't really need it. So we're gonna work on an observatory, which is really boost science, and it's great because I've got two mountains here. Uh, yeah. So I've got. I'm really liking these three cities that I have. It's pretty like it's a good setup. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't see that, Egypt is at war with the Indonesians, which I feel like is an opportunity for us to strike and maybe take Surabaya or the capital. Surabaya, Surabaya looks really nice though. They've got two ivory and one gems and some iron. Ooh. I think we might 
Because it's definitely doable. Because look, we're pretty close to them. Like, we've got this city, this city, and this city. All, like, within distance of Surabaya. Like, a few turns away, like, by ship. So, you know, I feel like we could definitely try to take this city. And maybe if we, if that goes well, if that campaign goes well, we should definitely attempt to take the capital. Because the capital would just give us tons of cool stuff. Alright, so... I'm gonna get some navigation so we can some, get some frigates out and move on this idea of taking over. And so uh, let's get some ironworks out and then we'll start working on some frigates, which actually I think I can buy several frigates. Yes, I can. So we're just gonna buy an army right now and we're gonna send it over and we are gonna attempt to take over Surabaya. And it doesn't look like a, that tough of a city. It's got 20 defense. And I have two frigates with 28 range attack. That is absolutely amazing. Ugh. All right. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys haven't heard about that guy, uh, there's some Indian kid who made a clock and his teachers thought it was a bomb, and he got like major in like major trouble and they like arrested him and yeah. Uh, and honestly, like I think the whole thing is just kind of stupid. Uh, not the kid, like not like that we're making a big deal out of it that it even happened because, you know, it's they didn't think it was a bomb. Uh, I read something that, you know, I was like, okay, statistically, this guy might actually, like, have been carrying a bomb, but I like, read something. They didn't treat it like a bomb. They just carried it around. They didn't clear their premise. So they, I feel like they knew, but honestly, like, I wasn't there, so I can't really, I can't really, like, judge, I guess. I'm not, judge might be the wrong word, but I can't really, like, say whether I agree with how they did it or if it was really just them being assholes, but... Pretty stupid. All right, so we are just bankrolling an army right here. <laughs> That's pretty nice. So, and we'll have three frigates, which is just actually like quite a big. Frigates are really powerful, especially in this. And wow, <laughs> I didn't think we'd definitely like get this many frigates this turn. But All right, so let's. So basically, I'm gonna get three or four frigates, a couple uh, like melee ships, and then we're just gonna go to war. We're gonna sail up and. Because uh, they're already at war with Egypt, so it's like they're not gonna be have like really any units to defend against me So I can just send like a kind of skeleton force over which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic so pull it out this And I'm worried that we won't have enough happiness, but we're getting zoos in a uh, six turn. So that should be pretty good So let's just send this guy right here. We'll just mass our fleet over here uh, We're gonna bring this guy up around uh, upgrade him also out of moose. I thought I might be able to sneak that in there. So. Oh, we cannot steal from Egypt because we have absolutely eclipsed them in research. That is fantastic. So, actually, we're not doing that great. Poland has a shit ton of these locked down. We're fifth for uh, literacy, which isn't great, but look at that. We're pretty freaking close. We are very close to them. And also, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have like a bunch of like text that will not take very long to research. So we're in a pretty good position pretty much everywhere. I don't see anywhere that we're significantly lacking except maybe troops, but that should go up. Yeah, soldiers were ninth, but you know, uh, it should be good. So we're second in land, third in manufactured goods, so that's good. Uh, we can probably get that up to first because we're in food production right now because we don't really need production. We're just kind of chilling, so that is fantastic. So yes. So let's trade with Thebes, because, you know, I like Egypt. I want to definitely be allies with Egypt and just gobble up this Indonesian empire in between us. Link them. And so I don't really need Brax. I don't really need a shrine. I'm not really good with that. Culture is good, but... All right, let's get working on a privateer. Privateers are great just because they can take stuff and buy another. Jesus. Jesus. Shit, now I don't have any gold to upgrade this guy, but whatever. It's fine. So I'm pretty sure this guy upgrades to a caravel or something. Or a galleas. I don't know. Maybe you can maybe I can upgrade him all the way to a frigate, but I don't I don't think so. So let's go with Lassa. We're gonna need some at home see uh trading if we're gonna go to war because you know, that stuff gets taken. Stolen. Anyway, frigates just chill. We'll get another few like maybe one more. I I don't it really just depends on what I'm trying to do. If I like, cause I really want to take the capital. 
but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to with just four frigates. Maybe though, it's a possibility. Nothing really to raise to get health back. We might have to stop at Survive anyway just because of happiness reasons, but uh, that should help. Please, please, please. Anyway, I'm going to get a toehold on this island no matter what, and from there we can really plan some other stuff. But that's it. Can I upgrade the caravel or no? Alright. Okay, so we're three turns away. We're gonna grow also. And let's see if we have any trade, like real quick. Let's actually check. Infoatic first. So, score, yeah, these guys have definitely gone down in score. They were right with us beginning. We're kind of middle of the road. Or a little a little bit less. Our military is oh shit. So Wow, I might need a bigger strike force than I expected. So they actually have an army twice as big as ours. So I thought Egypt might be doing good, might be decreasing their units, but actually no. Looks like e Egypt, well they've both gone down, neither of them very significantly, but it looks like Egypt just doesn't have the manpower to take them over, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I'm hoping that frigates, because they're a pretty advanced tech, I don't think they have frigates yet, will be able to turn the tide. They just have a crap ton of people. Uh, but you know, I might have to uh, get some more stuff now. Might have to make my strike force a little bit bigger. Got a privateer in eight turns. I think we'll be able to mass produce frigates in this in this city. Just because, look at this. Let's see. So we've got 28 production already, and that's in food focus. And we can definitely switch over to production focus. We're going to get eight more production, and already we can produce a frigate in eight turns. Now, that will go... Down by maybe a turn or two if we go into production mode, and down a turn or two once we complete this. So, yeah, we're going to be a pretty powerful uh, production center right here. Probably going to be able to get out a ton of stuff. And I thought... Yeah, see, we're one of the busiest people in the world, which is great. All right, so now we have a melee unit, which is good, because if we want to actually take a city, we need one. That's why I was building this. Otherwise, I really wouldn't bother, because frigates are so powerful. But it's aight. It's aight. So... So, so, so. Anyway. Gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. We have so many crabs that we've just snagged. Uh, we've got another one up here, which actually might be worth buying. No, I'm going to save my money for that. Crab, no. We need copper. I could be just getting more money, but... Hey, we're talking about going to war, so we're going to need some more happiness. And 11 is not bad. Very not bad. That's going to go down by... Jak ci się podoba? It's going to go by down by like three pretty soon just because all my cities are pretty much growing. Uh, one, two, seven. So yeah, uh, pretty soon that will be about like eight, which should give us actually enough happiness to maybe get the city and then purchase a courthouse. So we're not getting the extra unhappiness, but we should get happiness also from getting the ivory and the gems. So that should be good. I've met her. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, so Palenque, Palenque. Yeah, so the Songhai have uh, swordsmen, which we don't, but we could definitely. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just gonna focus on creating my sea, my navy, the powerful navy of the Shoshone. Powerful, it's like four ships, four fleets. I've never really understood if this is like representative, representative of an actual fleet or like just sh a single ship because I'm not you know, I'm not that familiar with like whether like frigates were like oh a country's gonna have like four frigates but like I don't know I really don't know all I know is that if you watch the Augscast Lewis gets a shit ton of these which means that it is a legit strat because that's all I do legit strats so as I bought it see our border keeps on expanding down here but we don't need any of that territory it's just like stuff that we can't work but, you know it, it looks like I'm unifying uh, unifying, just like, I mean, like, gobbling up all the land around here. So that's good. That is molto good. Alright, so. As you can see. Uh, sorry, guys, my sister walked in. Uh, so yeah, we can get a frigate in six turns, and this might be important enough because I want to get this out pretty soon to go to that. But yeah. Like I predicted, four turns. So we're gonna send this guy out also because we've got something to work. 
So we're going to improve. And in a few turns, we'll be able to buy one and we'll have another forget. And then we'll just go. We we'll also have a private here, privateer that's down there. So in about five turns, probably, uh, we will be marching to war. Sailing to war. We don't march. Anyway, that's all I have time for today, guys. So please, sorry, no question of the day or quote of the day. I just wanted to get some recording done. Uh, I'm really excited for the next Civ game. Or it's going to be uploaded, like, probably, like, every day along with this. I'm not really sure how my uploading schedule is going to be because I've had some problems with uploading, but uh, it's going to be fun. That's all I know. Anyway, guys, see ya.